up everyone it is your girl jlb87 here aka grace and it's time for another why you don't need or do you really need video so i found a few palettes online and i feel like look some of the stuff in my collection and that's usually when these videos come about so without further ado girl let's get into it because you know i'll be talking for a good little minute and it's totally unnecessary before i get started if you're curious what's going on with my eyes this is the adept cosmetics element 115 palette so i made this cute little look with that palette that they sent me in pr for the holidays last year but let's get into the video now i'm gonna start off with um crap i don't have i don't have space to scoot uh, I guess I have to do me because the palettes are literally sitting like directly next to me and there's a whole bunch of stuff on the other side. Matter of fact, no, let's just do the stuff over on the other side and then we'll just do the um, stuff on this side for once. Sorry. Okay. So, the first palette we're going to start off with is the Twilight palette. So, everybody was going crazy over this palette. And now, confession, I've never watched any Twilight videos or movies. I haven't seen any of the books, so I don't know what any of this is about. But if I did have to pick a team... I picked Team Jacob, the, the werewolf boy. I don't know. I just, that that's just my preference. Random side note. But let's talk about these palettes. So, um, the first palette I thought of when I saw that, I was like, it looks like the Whistler Snow Lodge from Nomad. I feel like if you covered up, like, some of the stuff on this side, you see what I'm saying? Like, it's giving a good majority of that palette. Like, because to me, that's what this palette looks like. It looks like that. So, I feel like if you cover up, like, the last three shades on the end of the Whistler Snow Lodge, you have that palette already. So, why, why? Just why? I mean, other than you really liking, like, um, what do you call it? Um, Twilight, I don't really see a need because you see this. I know you see that over there where my head is, my Tina's face over there. Like, you know, they, they look the same. Why? Just go by the Whistler Snow Lodge. And then you have these fun red shades and this fun um, red shifting. As, I think it shifts that like, pink, actually. It's a white icy that shifts to pink. So this is the palette I feel like I have closest in my collection that works out. And you can use code Dion at checkout. That's my girl, Dion Loves Makeup Code. It, it's still active, so you can use that. Then I pulled some other ones that I felt like could possibly have some similar tones. Like, if you're leaning more toward the heavier green vibes of the palette, then I feel like you might be able to just pull out your, um, what is this, the Glaminatrix. Sorry, Jesus, the Glam Light dirty martini palette this is what it looks like on the inside now i know it's not giving the exact vibes of it but i feel like it gives some of the colors in it and if you're a green lover and you're just mainly focused on the greens in that palette i feel like this could be a good alternative for you and since they're phasing these out on glam life from what i remember you should be able to get a pretty good deal on it and the formula of these is actually pretty nice this is when they started stepping up their formulas in their palettes it was um this palette right here so that's another palette. Then I pulled the Quintessentials palette from Sydney Grace and Tentalia. I have the deep version, so that might make a difference as far as the tones in it go. But I feel like it has a lot of those tones in it too, because I feel like if I covered up like this section right here, you see how it has a lot of those darker grayish tones and the blues and then the black and whatnot. So I feel like if you cover up those four, like these eight shades right here would give you a somewhat similar vibe now i don't know if they've already like discontinued this or not so just bear that in mind when looking at this the last one i've talked about believe it or not is the magic palette or the magic mini from julia's place now i know you're probably like wait what are you talking about like i know this one doesn't have as many mattes as the other one does so i did bear that in mind however i feel like a lot of the tones i'm trying to find something to cover it up with so you can see what i'm talking about a lot of the tones in here i feel like are going to be really similar why, why can't i find it so if you just look at the bottom of this palette, I feel like it gives a lot of those same tones that you see in the Twilight palette. So if you already have this palette, you might just want to look at the bottom of this palette and not be distracted by the warm tones at the top. And then you can, you know, use this. Now, again, it doesn't have like those grayish tones and whatnot because they had to split the palette in half with day and night. Thus, this being the night side and I got the day side covered up so you won't be confused. But like, I feel like you can pull out this palette and get a somewhat similar effect with it so i want to show those to start off with when it came to twilight because i know people are going crazy over now i know they have like a text message system where you can sign up and um, get it back in stock so i'm not trying to discourage you from getting it i'm just saying if you didn't want to wait for that and you wanted to use it now that you could definitely like look into that and you know get that and see how that works out for you so that's what i wanted to show i have to put all this stuff back where it came from now because you know y'all know i always got a different video idea so i gotta pull palettes from different places to do different stuff okay on to the next palette. So the next palette we have to talk about is the the ColourPop one, the Valentine's Day one. I put it over there. I don't remember the name of it. Sorry, it's something about love. 
because obviously it's for Valentine's Day. So I pulled like three or four palettes in my collection to show you. All of them are, well, the one I feel like is the most exact is actually from another affordable brand. So you might want to look into them. So I pulled the Tropical palette from um, Beauty Bay. I feel like it definitely gives similar vibes to that palette. I feel like if you cover up like the yellows in this palette, it gives quite the similar vibe because it has those fuchsia -ish type shades, those orangish reddish type shades and it has like those cup like the pop of purple effect that i feel like they put in there when it came to the shimmer so i feel like this one was a great alternative if you already own this you don't necessarily need to buy this one over here because it's like they look pretty similar and i would actually want to add the yellow to mine and some purple to make it more of this aesthetic and vibe because i feel like this is more like 70s love a fun vibe for a color story for valentine's day so i actually really like this and the formula on this was really nice. I did my la in my um, last declutter of 2023 video. This is the palette I had on my eyes for the people who were asking. So, yes. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Now, if you're more focused on the reds and, like, the oranges in that palette, then you might like the Puerto Rico palette from BH Cosmetics. I know they had them at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, like, a while ago. I don't know if they still have them there. But see, it has some of those oranges in there and some of those reds and like the you know deep pink type shade too but this one gives you neutral options for the people who don't just love color and want to play with color a little bit but you know want um you know to um still have their neutrals and their everyday go-to so the palette makes more sense for them especially because you know like depending on how many palettes you have and all that and the price point and all that that, that type of stuff adds up so I pulled this one for people to look at. And I think you can actually still buy this one on their website because this was one of the newer ones. Don't quote me, though. I'm not 100%. So don't quote me. I know for the people who are in the UK, you can probably still buy them on Beauty Bay, if I remember correctly. On, obviously, you can buy the Beauty Bay palette on Beauty Bay. So I tried to keep that in mind, too. Last one I have is the Corderosa palette when it comes to this. And then I'll show you the one that I would um, remake mine to look like because one of y'all asked me about this. So I figured I'd just include that in here, too. So I feel like the Corderosa is a good like muted version of that. So for the adults who want to have a couple of pops of color in their collection, like you got the pop of pink here, just like in that palette. You got the um, purplish tone shimmer, just like in that palette. You got a little bit of a corally moment right here, but you still got a good majority of neutrals to wear to work every day. So this is more like the work friendly version of like the pop of color of that palette, if you will. And I do have a code with Sigma, so you can use my code Gel Beauty and you can get a percentage off when you purchase this palette. I um. I like the formula sequence palettes, but like this isn't my favorite color story. My favorite color story is New Mod, random side note to anyone who cares. But um, yeah, this one I feel like would definitely be a good alternative for the everyday work girl who wants to have some of those colors but doesn't want to have to, you know, have this nothing but bright and colorful palette in her collection because that one would be more user friendly for you every day and still around Valentine's Day. Now, I would make my palette of this palette here again. I hopefully I still have it on the screen. Um, into more of like the rich romance palette from Glaminatrix. So I'd be adding definitely some purples to it. But I think I would actually add like one fun pop of yellow to it. Like in the Beauty Bay Tropical palette. So it would be a mix between this palette and the Beauty Bay Tropical palette. That's how I would redo the um, ColourPop palette. So it would be a combination of these two. So like I'd probably like go in and like add some of the purples down here with it and take out you know these brownish neutral shades because y'all know i don't really rock with those like that so i would take those out and then see if i could find like a multi-chrome in my collection a dual chrome in my collection that would um fit in with the color story of that palette nicely and i feel like that would be the perfect twist for me so that's what i would do with it for the person who asked me so there, there's your answer sis okay on to the next palette so it's the dd nicole and glam light not i mean not glam light um beauty uh, Bella Butte bar now I hate to do um collabs but at the same time it's like I know everybody can't afford it and you can still support her by um what is it um following her on Instagram and following the journey of her palette and liking all the looks that she posts with it and liking all the pictures she posted about it you're still supporting her in that way if you can't afford to get these and I want to give y'all some alternatives so the first one I have is the gothic palette from cosmic brushes i feel like this was the one that looked closest to the color story of her palette and it's still not exact but it was the closest out of all the palettes that i looked through when it came to my um purple palettes because she did a true monochromatic like purple different tones of purple and this one still isn't like exact because i feel like it has more like a fuchsia tone purplish shade like this one right here and then like it has more of a deep plumish like 
burgundy um deeper tone shade and then you got this black shimmery shade i feel like hers was like true true purple i feel like this one was made for someone to be able to do a full complete look for like a soft everyday look like this side and then a more vampy bam pow in your face look with the other side but i still feel like it was a good alternative for people who already have this palette so if you already have this palette you might want to just dip into this palette because it does give you some of those deeper tones that she has in her palette she just doesn't give you any lighter tones in my personal opinion it's basically focused on having deep smoky purple looks so this one was definitely one i you know that caught my eye and made me think of it initially when i first looked the next ones are like a couple of like six pans that i feel like you could pair together from two different brands that would work well so i'm starting with these two juvia's place ones so i have the violets and nubian royal palette so i'm gonna just try to stick them together or hold them together so that way you can see so i feel like these two could be possible alternatives for you because they have some of those cooler term purples those deeper purples and then you get some of the warm tone purples and this one the only downside is this is a pressed glitter for people like me who do not like pressed glitters i feel like this would be something that you would not necessarily be crazy about but these usually go on sale like they'll have them six dollars so like uh, literally a dollar per eyeshadow pan because y'all know Judy Place always has some sale going on so i feel like these could be a good alternative if you were interested in you know trying out some purple shadows because the two of these would be twelve dollars and you know i'm not trying to discourage you from buying anybody's collab i'm just trying to get you to look within your collection and then and when you can afford to get it if you really want to support her then go ahead and get it i do have a link with bella beauté bar down below in the description bar if anyone is interested so you can um still check out the collab if you're interested but i just wanted to show you these purples because y'all know i'm a purple palette connoisseur so of course i have to have the purple palette but you know you might not necessarily feel like you have to have it so last one i have of course y'all know i had to bring up the color pop palette so it's lie like you a lie and it's my pleasure again since i'm filming my phone i can't like verify the exact color stories of the palettes that i'm talking about just because i'm like you know i gotta film with the phone in order to get this done so sorry these are only videos i film with my phone by the way because i have to do the picture in picture but yeah so here is what both these look like so i feel like she has a couple of lie like type shades in there but this has some deeper purple shades letter like in her palette and then the majority of this is like a good majority of like those deeper tones so i feel like if you own both of these and again the dime palette's going on sale for nine dollars which would be a dollar a shadow so that would make these only like 18 bucks and then you might be able to use somebody's code on top of it i don't think karen has a code i know my girl is glam exo beauty has one so you can use her code I know Andrea Montanaro has one too. I think it's Andrea 10. You can get 10% off your purchase with ColourPop. So you might be interested in getting it if you can um, use these two. Or if you already have these two in your collection from when they had a sale or you already um, purchased them, then I figured you might want to dip into these a little bit. That's up to you. The last palette, um, almost last palette. This palette I have to talk about is from Bella Beauté Bar as well. So I'll put it up over here it's the uh, what is it called um dead rose i think it's what it's called don't quote me it's their valentine's day release so when i saw the color story in it the first palette it reminded me of i don't know if you all thought this but when i first saw this palette i was like it's a cooler version of the moon spell volume two in my personal opinion just because it gives a more grungier effect to it but they have a lot of the similar colors i feel like manny's a little bit more brighter though and he has this deeper roll right here but i feel like since that palette is smaller and it has like a smaller variation of brighter to deeper i feel like his is much brighter compared to the one that's up here but i'm definitely like yes honey they look they look pretty similar in my personal opinion so if you already have this one you might not necessarily want to run out and get that one i'm gonna get it to compare my theory as usual because i'm me plus i love the bella beauty bar formula and i love the color combinations that they come out with so i definitely want to try the formula of that one up against this one especially since the color stories are so similar and see if my theory is correct so i will personally be getting it on i think it's the 25th or the 26th it comes out i forgot which day they come out but um i'm gonna grab it girl okay i will be reaching i will be snatching i will be grabbing get out of my way <laughs> Please and thank you. Get out of my way. Then the next two palettes I have. One is for people who prefer the brighter side of the palette. And then one is for people who like the deeper side of the palette. So I'll start off with the one from the brighter side. Now, I personally don't buy from this brand anymore. But if you already have this palette, I feel like people don't really talk about this brand anymore too. Which is interesting because for a while people used to talk about it a lot. Then they had a scandal with 
a miss a teen in here and then um i feel like they had a little bit more traction of people buying from them and then it just started going down so i don't know what's going on over there i don't know what happened but this is give me glows vivid rose palette and this is what it looks like on the inside so for people who like the more brighter pinks and like purples that that palette has to offer i feel like you would like this palette if you already own it or if you already own this palette i feel like you might not necessarily need to get the bella beauty bar one because this purple actually goes pretty deep and these go pretty deep and then you have like the lighter fun pinks that are in that palette as well now that palette does have dual chromes and multi chromes in it so you might be more interested in it for that reason but you know um that's up to you i'm just pointing out um color stories in my collection or that my friends let me borrow because my friend had to let me borrow this palette i'm surprised she let me borrow it because if y'all remember i ended up breaking like one of her give me gold palettes that she let me borrow before and i had to buy another one for her because i had broke it so i'm glad she let, still lets me borrow makeup after i had that whole situation happen but i digress um yeah this one gives me similar vibes to that so i feel like if you just like the lighter pinks and then like a couple of the deeper tones or you just need a deeper outer v shade and the rest of them be fine then you would be fine with that palette last one i've talked about is the chucky and glam like crazy and love collection that they came out with valentine's day if you're more of a grungy deeper tone girl i feel like you would like this one more over the bella beauty bar one just because it gives a lot of it gives a mixture of light and deep but if you're more of a deeper smoky eye type girl then you might want to pick this one up or get this one because this one you can actually find at a cvs store so if you're a person who gets the care pass for like ten dollars a month you can get the care pass and then if you get like a 20 or 30 percent off coupon it could be a really good deal for you because i think this is i forgot how much it was the cvs but with that 20 percent off and then the ten dollars free money automatically that would bring it down to maybe like 15 and 20 bucks which is going to be cheaper than the influencer code depending on how much this palette costs perhaps and then you can go in store and get it immediately or buy it off their website and have them ship it to a store which might work out faster for you in your favor so just something to think about when it comes to the grunge your deeper tone side of this but if you do want to buy it off glam Life's website you can use my girl karen's code it's just cage makeup hook up this palette but i just want to show this one for the people who are more concerned about the darker shades and the bella beauty bar palette and if you don't mind not having dual chromes and multi chromes because i don't know if there's some people out there who like angie who are tired of having those type of um tones and don't want to be bothered so they don't want it okay so my last one now this is just my conspiracy theory on the matter i don't have any facts behind this other than what manny mua said so of course i had to talk about what is skins by um what is it? Is, it is that what it's called skins by um kim kardashian i think that's what it's called i don't know but i want to talk about her palette or her lipstick so of course everybody's talking about how it's, it's really similar to makeup by mario now i don't have the palette they're talking about because y'all know i'm not really a neutral person i did buy the quads that he first came out with when he came out with holiday quads and 20 i want to say 2021 so as you can see this is just a boring bronzy quad um her palette is a whole bunch of neutrals of tones like this so you could always buy the makeup by mario formula and version of it i according to manny mua he said that the pickup in um mario's i mean the kick up in um kim's is softer her formula is pressed softer and um makeup by mario is pressed harder so if you like the softer base formula now he didn't say how soft so i don't know if it's like the old school dose of colors when you dipped into those like five or six pants that they have that were all matte if it's like that or if it's more just like a softer formula he didn't say the intensity of a palette that we could compare it to so i'm not exactly sure but just because it's like a neutral palette it's like 50 something dollars i'm not about to rush out and get it and yeah she gonna have to come up with some shimmers too like i'm not just paying her 50 some dollars for mats like I'll pay Mario $57 for mats, but I'm not paying her $57 for mats because he's the professional. But I feel like he helped in this collection and curate this stuff. Next thing I want to talk about is the lipsticks. So I heard the lipsticks aren't the same as her original formula, which I actually have one here. This is Nude 3 in the cream. So, and mine are so old, like it smells like crayons. But this was the color I had. So I um heard it's not the same form as this, which I thought it was going to be. But my, I'm curious to know, is Mario's a new satin lipstick he came out with really similar to the formula that Kim used to have when it came to the creams? Because remember, he is her makeup artist and he, I'm sure, helped curate a lot of her makeup. Again, this is just conspiracy theory time in this part of the video. So I'm just, I'm just giving out my theories, girl. You don't have to believe me or not. I'm just curious. But with the lipsticks, I'm wondering if they're the same as his formula on his lipsticks. Because I heard they're not as creamy and 
smooth as they were in the past well it's creamy he didn't necessarily say smooth again i'm going off manny mua's review of it that i saw on tiktok he did a part one and a part two when it came to the eyeshadow so i'm wondering if it's just the same formula as this i am curious about that and did y'all see them lip liners being 22 dollars and they all look the same i'm like i'm just curious to see a, a brown person with the darkest shade try it on because i don't think i've seen anybody that's dark get it in pr random side note so i'm just kind of like hmm but i got some alternatives as far as color stories go just for that palette because i mean the two face ones are always on sale for 50 percent off and they're just a bunch of neutrals too and you get shimmers and mattes so the late great Mel thompson put me on to this one this is the natural nudes one the born this way natural nudes the first one they came out with the, she was right the formula on this is amazing love the formula on this now you're not gonna get like literally all skin tone brown neutral you get this light set right here but this palette is supposed to be based upon their foundation shade so it's that's why it's light you got the pink tone foundations plus people like mauve and then you got the more deeper tones here on the end so this is a good one to pick up if you just need a neutral palette and don't necessarily need to give kim kardashian like 50 bucks or 55 bucks i think it's 54 dollars. i forgot then there's the born this way sunset strip and this is a even deeper version of that palette for people who are interested in that so you got this more deeper tone to start off with then you got a small little pinky moment right here and then you got a lot of deeper tones and this is actually quite a deep dark outer v shade i was quite impressed with it because the original one in the first palette didn't go as deep as it looks in the pan so this one quite impressed me so i mean you can get both of these for the price of one of her palettes when you catch it on sale for 50% off because I caught both of these on sale for 50% off. I caught this one for 25 and I caught this one for 25 So both of these equal the price of her palette and you get a variety of colors and mattes as well as shimmers. And that's my whole thing with this palette. Like I'm getting no shimmers. But if you do want an all matte palette, I would recommend getting the Patrick Ta Matrix Dimensions Volume 3 because Patrick Ta's mattes are amazing. I will say though, my only issue with him is I feel like his mattes don't ever run deep enough for someone my skin tone personally. But if you're from like fair to like probably medium and tan, I feel like you'll be fine. I feel like once you get to dark and deep and less, it's going to be like this little section right here it's not gonna be that warm and this brown isn't gonna be dark enough to put on the outer v for me personally but i mean you can utilize the creams and i'm assuming that's why he has the creams for you to be able to utilize them so i would just say get the patrick ty one personally because his matte formula is amazing you know all the girls are always talking about patrick ty because patrick ty is out here giving and i'm living okay so those are all the things i had to talk about in today's video i know it was longer than usual but i had to put my conspiracy theory in here girl it just it just had to be known another conspiracy theory i have since why we here i'm wondering how similar the prada beauty foundation is going to be to my tom ford trace of soft matte foundation i watched my girl daft's makeup do her video and i asked her about it and she was saying that it was somewhat similar so i want to try them side by side and see how that works out for me just because i'm like i saw that the tom four one has been on the cleaners rack for a while so to me that says you discontinued it so i bought a backup but i'm like i'm concerned so i'm out here trying to find my alternative already now just in case something goes down so i will be doing a wear test comparing both of those they just sent my prada foundation out today they said it was a delay going on i don't know what happened but it's supposed to be here wednesday so hopefully i can have that wear test video up friday for y'all but those are all the things i have to talk about in today's video so i hope you all enjoyed this video remember you all are diamonds make sure you subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next one be blessed girl bye